thanks for tuning in. Today we are talking about the three resorts in the main Capcana area, the Secrets Capcana, Hyatt Ziva and Zalara Capcana, and Sanctuary Capcana. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video comparing the three properties, so that's what we're going to cover off today with everything from the beach to the rooms to the food to the drinks and everything in between. So if you enjoy the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm actually heading back to the Hyatt on Thursday, January the 2nd, and uh, we'll be posting lots more videos from there as well as hopefully doing some live videos. So I'll be showing you exactly what it looks like and if you have any questions, please post them below. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about the beaches first of all. The Secrets and Hyatt are side by side. Secrets is adults only. Hyatt Zalara is adults only. Hyatt Ziva is family friendly. The beaches are like stunningly beautiful. On the secret side, the palm trees are closer to the edge of the water and you can walk out in the water for ages and it's still very shallow and very clear. You can walk along the sand, the beach in front of Secrets and in front of the Hyatt is very wide. Lots of lovely lounge chairs, lots of space. Um, and what I love is that you can actually have a private conversation with the people that you're with without the people at the next lounge chairs being 10 centimeters away, um, being able to hear everything. So that's quite nice. Um, at the Hyatt side, same thing, lots of space um, and very wide beach. And then you go along the beach for about half a mile, or half a kilometer, and there's a couple of uh, public areas. And then you come to Sanctuary and you can't walk on the beach, along the beach to the Sanctuary property. Um, but what I can tell you is the, the beach area there is, is very nice. Um, it's a little bit more smaller, a little bit more compact, um, but it is still part of the barrier system that encapsulates Secrets Hyatt and Sanctuary. So it's basically a seaweed barrier, so in the, at the times of year that there might be some sargassum, it keeps it from coming onto the beach. So it's always lovely for swimming. The pools are lovely at all of the properties. Um, I'll show you some videos here of the, high, uh, sorry, the Sanctuary Capcana Resort absolutely stunning. Now this whole property is really overall just gorgeous. There's a castle section, there's um, a, a modern newer section which actually has uh, I believe it's a six or seven story building. Um, so it's actually taller than the palm trees and that was a rule that changed a couple of years ago because previously you couldn't build taller or higher than the tallest palm tree in the area. So fun fact for you. Um, the there's also a villa section and I have to say, I mean, I was upgraded into one of the royalty villas at Sanctuary Capcana and I'll show you a couple of clips here of the room. Absolutely stunning. Um, we had, a, this is our own pool. So we had our own pool in our villa suite, which was, I believe, 3,200 square feet. Um, so really no need for me to ever leave and go to the public areas. But as you can see here, the public areas of the rest of the resort and the other pool areas are absolutely stunning as well. There's the castle section pool and then there's also the main pool area with a swim up bar. So uh, really something for everyone. Now if we move along to the Hyatt, Ziva and Zalara, the Ziva side is more soft edges. So meandering pools and um, swim up bars and stuff like that. On the Zalara side, it's more rectangles. Um, so there's a club pool with its own swim-up bar as well as an infinity pool right at the front of the property and its own swim-up bar. And again, looking out onto the beach with those gorgeous palm trees, it's just a spectacular view. Now over at Secrets, there are a couple of pool areas. There's one area that's for their preferred club and then there's also the main pool area. And again, all very stunning. Um, of the three, I do have to say that Sanctuary is by far the most photogenic. Lots of lovely uh, pool area, uh, lovely foyer, uh, lobby area, um, lots of um, water features and just stuff like that that's going to make your, um, your photos really stunning. Now Hyatt is a brand new build. That just opened in November of 2019. The palm trees in the, on the beach are older. They've been there forever. Um, so those are full-size palm trees. And then within the property, it was a brand new built. So they put in palm trees 
um, on the resort and those are growing and as you know if you've been to Mexico or the Caribbean um, palm trees grow super fast. <laughs> I expect this resort to be very lush in the near future and it's actually really surprisingly lovely now considering it was just constructed just just construction just completed. Now over on the secret side this is a, a property that's been open for a few years now so it has the density of, of the growth and the, um, the palm trees and stuff like that. Um, it's a meandering layout to the property so I would definitely recommend that you book an ocean view room if you're going to be staying here so that you do have that view of the gorgeous palm trees and the beach and the ocean in behind. Um, but as you can see here from an overview of the resort it is very lovely and um, uh, just very very pretty overall. Let's talk about the rooms. Now at the at Sanctuary the basic rooms are located in the brand new building and these are uh, they all have the same kind of layout so it's just like what you see here. So the room category that you book is going to determine what kind of view that you have. Now over at the Hyatt, and this is, a, you can see here from the, the room, that the, the layout is lovely and um, very spacious and also um, nice balcony. Now this is a room on the Zalara side. The ones on the Ziva side are slightly more colorful and cheery, but equally modern, clean, and um, lots of storage and stuff like that. Now over on the uh, secret side, so this particular room is a preferred club ocean view. So ignoring the view, the actual layout um, is what you would find in basically every room here, barring you know the more upgraded rooms like any of the one bedrooms or um, swim outs, that kind of thing. They have a slightly different layout. But this gives you an idea of what to expect with the basic rooms. Now in terms of food, um, comparing all three of those properties, you know, the food at Secrets was very good. Um, the food at Sanctuary was very good and they have something unusual where they have a separate area from the resort and it's called Sanctuary Town. Now some of these, some of the restaurants are included in the all-inclusive program with Sanctuary, but there are some that are separated. There's also some, also some shops down there. So you can do a little bit of souvenir shopping, um, some clothing, that kind of thing. Um, but as I say, some restaurants are included and some are an additional cost, but they have a really good variety overall. And with the Sanctuary Resort, you do not need advanced reservations for any of the um, restaurants. Uh, now with Hyatt, adults can use the whole property, um, but if it's kids under 18 years, then they can only dine and stay on the Ziva side of the property. Now over at Secrets, uh, again, there's a great variety of restaurants. They've got the steakhouse, they've got a, Me there's a Mexican, an Italian, um, and a teppanyaki Asian. Um, now the teppanyakis, no matter where you go, you're always gonna have to make reservations for those. And that's simply because the tables are a set size and it's a show cooking course or class. So basically you're gonna dine at a specific time and with a specific uh, at a specific table. So great if you have a group of people that you want to eat together, make your advance reservations for that and you can all sit together. Um, but alternatively, if you just are interested in sushi, you can go to the restaurant whenever you like. You don't have to have advance reservations and you can enjoy all you can eat sashimi and sushi. And I, trust me, it is to die for. So that's the food at the different properties. Of course, all of them also include 24 seven room service. So that's great to know. And um, let's talk about the alcohol. Now, each property has a swim up bar. There's also several other bars around the property in the lobby and throughout the resort. Uh, they all offer drink service around the pool and out to the beach. So have no fear, all of the waiters will be around and they'll be drinking, bringing drinks to you um, right to your lounger. Um, now, in terms of alcohol, the Secrets Resort, we'll talk about that one first. Um, they have top shelf drinks that are available at all the bars. And then they have a preferred club, which is just a slightly higher level. That's where you're gonna find your Grey Goose vodka, um, some of the more expensive tequilas, um, uh, like Don Julio, well, actually no, Don Julio, uh, the Blanco, I think it was, or maybe it was Patron, it shows you how much I drink tequila. Um, that was in the main lobby. So um, they did have really, really good brands uh, for this. 
um, as well as a variety of different wines and um, beer in cans um, or on draft. So really good variety there. At Hyatt, uh, they have cans of beer in the club lounge and then everywhere else is draft beer. Um, they have a variety of different wines, but it's all recognizable name brands, international brands. So you're not just drinking uh, local stuff. Over at Sanctuary, uh, they did have a good variety of alcohol um, and different types of wines. Um, for the more premium alcohol, uh, there was an extra surcharge. At that particular property, they were a little bit less inclusive about the higher end brands. So it just depends what your drink is, but certainly if you're um, not sure if it's included, you've got two resources for that. Either you can post the question below and I can check it out and find out for you, or you can join the Sanctuary Capcana Facebook fan page, which is a totally great resource for you. And there's always tons of people who are at the resort, going to the resort, just came from the resort, and they are always happy to answer any of your questions about a specific brand, um, if that's your go-to drink when you're on vacation. Evening entertainment. Um, at Sanctuary, it's actually really good. They had um, live bands that came around to the tables during dinner and in the bar areas. Um, as well as shows that were put on. And these were really, really good caliber. At all three properties, it was very good at the Hyatt. And then they did different dance, uh, dancing performances every night, um, as well as they had a magic show. And um, they also have different shows for the kids. So if you're on the Ziva side and you're looking for something for the kids to enjoy before going for dinner or before going to bed, um, they did have an early show just for them. And then of course the evening entertainment for the adults. And then they have fun things too, like karaoke and other stuff that's going on in the sports bar, which is also open late. Um, so there's stuff going on all night long and also DJs and stuff like that. So you can get your boogie on in the evening. So in general, I, you know, I loved all of the properties. All three resorts are really lovely. Um, you know, if I had to pick one as my favorite, oh gosh, you know, like I say, aesthetically, Sanctuary, hands down, hands down. It is gorgeous. But, you know, I'm a Hyatt girl, I really am. And I, I love Secrets as well. Um, but I think because the Hyatt's new and the service just blew me away when I was there in November, so I think that one would be my number one choice. But honestly, it's a really hard choice between the three properties. They're all solid choices and I think that you would enjoy eat any of them, no matter which you choose. So if you have questions um, about any of the properties that I haven't covered, uh, let me know and I'm happy to answer those. And um, like I say, I'll be back at Hyatt in a couple of days time doing more videos, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those. And in the meantime, uh, you can check out these resorts for now.